now. It can't be connected on that side because the um, wireless redstone's in the way. Part of me wishes I'd have put that underneath, but at the time I was planning on um, I, I was planning on running the power up from underneath. So what I might do is, if I take out this part here, and then I take out this part here, where's my magnet? Oh, I'm running out of space. What if I then put a cable there, and then the solar panel here? That's connected, is it supplying power? It is not supplying power, and I can't tell if that's because this block is above it, or if it's because that block is above it. And if it's that one, then we're royally fucked. Well, easy way to test that. Okay, well it wasn't that one, let's go up here for a second. It's... Mm, oh, ah, shit. So what if I put this one back? Yep, this one's still getting light levels now, and that's still filled up, so that one can stay there. But the actual shield is stopping the light from touching the solar panel. Okay, so now we really have to test something, something very important. You see, if having the actual template block in the way is enough to stop the solar panel from functioning, we need to find out if the shield itself is going to stop the solar panel from functioning. So we need to go and pay a visit to my good friend, the College of Ancrea. Because the College of Ancrea is where I stored my spare shield projectors. Who would have thought? Not me. It's almost like I showed you that earlier. An intentional foreshadowing. Ooh. Okay, now I need to grab myself some of the actual templates, so just bear with me. Okay, so out here, we're no longer under the awning of the shield templates and we're out here for a very specific reason if i put this here and then i take some of my shield templates and i just build up a temporary uh cover it doesn't have to look fancy it doesn't even have to be big it just has to be enough to cover a solar panel right then so by the logic that we experienced earlier if i put this down it should not provide any power because it can't see the sun underneath the shield. Now, if I provide temporary power, actually, you know what, no, I don't have to do this, what am I doing? If I provide temporary power by breaking this template, there we go, it's given it all into here, and then I take that away from it, can't generate any more than that, zero light level. And then I go out of my way to turn on the shield generator, so, uh, where is it, redstone mode ignored, Pre if pressed, light is blocked by the shield. Ooh, that's a good sign. And if I give this redstone power, there we go. So when it's powered, okay, when it's powered, it can still see the sun. Unless I click this, in which case it can't. Okay, so keeping it powered after it's turned on, piece of cake. Giving it the initial power, I'm going to have to punch holes in the template. Okay, and if I turn this off, yeah, it disappears. So the shadow issue won't be an issue anymore. <laughs> Although I can pass through it, which means I probably need to add uh, the ability to not do that. But the point is, it works. It can be self-sustaining. Fuck yeah. And then if you try and damage it, the, the thing comes back. I'd love to see it. Okay, so, due to the way that these things function, I should be able to put these around the edges, then hook them up with cables like this, connect all the cables together so they share power. Yes, I'm aware I'm doing this in the most inefficient way possible. I'm trying to make it look cool. Shut up. Nah, that doesn't look cool. I need to find another way to do this. Wait, hang on a second. These link together. Oh, the textures link together, but they store their own individually? That's kind of cool. So all I have to do now is theoretically run a ring around the outside like this, like that, and then have one of them or two of them run into the sides. And I think just for aesthetic purposes, I'm going to choose to have uh, two of them run into the side. So if I go like this, maybe? Uh, the, the half slabs make it look nice on its own, but when you add the cabling in and try to make it functional, it just fucks everything up. I need a new plan. I suppose I could shorten the... Oh, shit. I suppose I could shorten the emitter, but I... I don't really want to have to do that. Let's see how it looks. So now if I put these along here like this. Eh, it's not great, but I like it. It it's it's tolerable. I'll I'll do it this way. Although that does mean I then have to take out all of these parts here to run cables through before I then dip it down. I'll do it this side. 
There we go. So now I have to, have to do cable, 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 cable. And then this thing's getting power. There we go. And then hop on up. You can't really tell unless you're looking in there, but... <laughs> I like it. Now to... Oh god, now to just do this to the rest of them. And now to add the cable. Da 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 And then the solar panels. Da 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 Just to check, I need to set these to redstone mode on to activate. I should do that as I go around. I know it's weird, but this is probably my favorite one just because of like the nice tucked away nook location that it's in. Um, but yeah, now to bastardize it. Adding the cable and the panels, and then set that to, uh, on to activate. There we go. As long as they start off with a tiny bit of power, it should be alright. Because as soon as the shield disappears and it's letting the light back in, the solar panel should be able to charge themselves up. All of them. Ah, I forgot I left these up here. I should probably move these at some point. I don't really like them being so far out from the main base. Oh, hello. I didn't think your kind were allowed to be in here. I advise you leave now before I call the authorities. Well, you did technically leave. I didn't specify that it didn't have to be in a body bag. Mm, we're kind of running low on both cables and solar panels now. I might have to go EMC some of these. Yeah, we only have five of the tier sixes left, and we only have ten. Well, actually, we have a little more than ten. I put them in my backpack. Uh, wrong backpack. Yeah, we have 50 cables, which might just be enough, but we definitely need more solar panels. So uh, let's just check. Uh, yep, redstone mode to activate. It's managing to get power because this one's entirely underneath an unfinished circle. So let's go dupe some of these up. Ooh, they are very expensive. I forgot how expensive these are. I'm just sort of using eight of them at a time on the individual uh, generators. This one is my least favorite one, <laughs> ironically, because it's the best well hidden. It's so much so that I forget where the fucking thing is half the time. Hello. Have I introduced you to my friend, the uh, Second Amendment, before? See, you get along great. And redstone mode on to activate. Uh, woo! <laughs> Bit of a delayed reaction, but I genuinely thought that was a creeper. And the award for my second least favorite goes to this one. Equally as hard to find as the last one. Part of me worries that this one might not even get energy even when the barrier is gone, just because of how overgrown the leaves are. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> this whole array is directly underneath uh, the barrier. This might be one I have to punch a hole in to get the power started. All right, I'll... Uh... I'll do that now, just so I don't forget when it's time to turn them all on. Guess this one's next. Yep, this one's got at least some sunlight, so this one's fine. Uh, why does that appear? Whenever I, like, pick something up, right-click to add. It's, it's saying that I can add shit to lava, but nothing I've ever right-clicked on has actually worked. I don't even know what mod that's from. Right then, uh, I'm back down to six solar panels. I'm nearly done. I've just got this one and that one to do, I believe. So let me just quickly grab a couple more of these doodads. Who knew that was a suspicious footstep? <laughs> oh, I'm good. I can recognize creepers by their fucking footsteps. You slimy bastard. Why do I have 32 shield generators in here? I don't need that many. I don't need any anymore. Oh, well, that certainly fixes it. And just to make sure, redstone is on to activate. Good, good. You know, I didn't think it, w it would have been an issue when I first built these, but I genuinely think these two might overlap in terms of what they're supposed to be grabbing. They probably won't, but I I think they might. So I that that's something to keep an eye out on, because I have no idea how conflicting generators work. Genuinely, it's something I've never tested. If that one calls dibs on a bunch of blocks, and then that one calls dibs on a bunch of blocks, and then I turn them off and on again, does it save the specific ones, or does it pick every time? Will they just grab random ones each time, and sometimes they'll overlap and miss some? I, I feel like the people that coded this mod might be a little smarter than that, but at the same time, I've, I've seen some mods over the years. 
So I really don't want them to fuck me over by choosing the same block, not being able to decide who should take it, and then just leaving it unshielded. Uh, because that <laughs> would be a very big flaw in our defenses. There we go, and redstone to activate, and it's got power, which means this one's safe until it's time to turn it on. And then last but not least, this fucker. And I think... Yep, yeah, we, we finished off with five cables left. We really picked a good number right there. So let's just finish covering this with solar panels, set it to on to activate. That went up very quick, which means I'm, I'm assuming a majority of these are in sunlight, which is brilliant. It's exactly what we're after. And with that one, I believe we are done. Yeah, they're all individually set up. They've all been linked to wireless redstone. They've all been given the power they need to turn on. All that is left is to finish the holes in the ceiling, which I'm going to do in a time lapse uh, for the next episode, and then to build the connecting lines, you know, the, the shrooms that come out, the fooosh that come out. I just realized how fucking um, insane that sounded. But you know what I mean, like, like the spokes of an umbrella, when it comes out of this thing, I want it to sort of move up in like a, a, a very strange pattern. You know, I want it to come out in a weird pattern that continuously ascends, almost like a tree. And that kind of splits as well as it goes up, like uh, like this. And delete that. Oh, delete that one, and then you know maybe it comes up here too, and it just continues to climb outwards, like like chorus fruit, until it touches that where it can connect at a bunch of different points, so that it can cover a really large area. But yeah, one of those is kind of gonna come out of the top of each of these. Like I said, I'm gonna finish that all in its own time lapse. However, I've only been recording for less than an hour, and considering how I edit these videos, especially when I'm on my own. That's barely even a couple of episodes. That's maybe three at the most. So what are we going to do for the rest of the time, you may be asking? Because, I mean, as we all know, we record these for two hours minimum. Well, I figure now I can take the time to do a bunch of odd jobs around the base that I've either asked Ruby to do in the past and he hasn't, I've wanted to do and I just haven't done, or stuff that we've both just never got around to doing. And the first thing on this list of just stuff that we really, 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 really should have done, something that we went so far is to build the things we needed to do it, to do, is to take these ender tanks and finally make it so that our smeltery actually has a consistent source of life. Lava. And the best way to do that is using ender tank, mainly because they can travel through dimensions. So if I put this here, and then how do I give this a color? Is it, do I click it with dye? Is that how this version of the mod works? I, I've seen that many versions of ender tanks that I've genuinely just, I have no clue. Let's just quickly set up a... No! That's not how this, what, no! Why would you assume that's how this works? Let's cut you off. Uh, you know what, there's no one else on this uh, server that uses ender tanks, so I think we're fine to leave it uncoded for now. Second step is... I forgot to grab the pump. Oh! You know, looking at it now, I don't think we actually ever built the pump. Guess we're building a pump. So, there's a bunch of different versions of the pump we can use. Uh, I know there's one in Create as well. But the one I want to use is the Pump Plus from Quarry Plus. Now, Quarry Plus, I love the mod. It is really nostalgic. Uh, but sometimes... Yeah, sometimes it can be a little fucking expensive. Um, so what we need to build the pump is we can either use the pump module for some reason, or we can use 32,000? No, 320,000 uh, megajoules uh, inside of a workbench plus um, to, to, to craft it. And... Ironically, it may say it uses all the modium, and you may think, Oh wow, all the modium, that's so expensive. We have three whole ingots of this shit and five spare nuggets, so um, it's not that expensive anymore. So it was the nuggets along the bottom like that, and then it was two blocks of gold, a block of diamond, and three blocks of iron. So do we have... Uh, okay, we don't have the gold in here, but we do have the iron, so let's put the iron there. We've got the gold in our inventory, and instead of removing the recipe, we can just use our Philosopher's Stone. One, two, there we go. And inside backpack number two, we just have a bunch of blocks of diamonds with us, because 
I mean, why would you ever want to be caught lacking without a bunch of blocks of diamonds? So if I put these in position like this, I can then take this workbench, I can bring it down to our machine room, and then I can I can just hook it up to another solar panel. <laughs> because we have 48 total tier 3 solar panels. So, um... Yeah, let's, let's do that, shall we? Uh, let's put the quarry... Let, let, let's put the quarry here. And then we can use the same hole we used for the create stuff. And we can just lead a second set of cables down. So let's go set that up. Oh, are we going to crash? Is, is this it? Is this where Anadonia decides to take a giant shit all over my uh, mood? Let's find out in the next exciting episode of Dragon Ball Z. Oh, yes, it is. Great. I, I love it when this happens. I love it when my 3060 Ti and my i9 processor and my 32 gigs of RAM aren't enough to run a fucking Minecraft instance!